today. I had some people asking about making polymer clay planner clips. And I wanted to show you, I've got many that I had. I had these on Etsy. And I still do. But I wanted to show you what I did and tell you a little tips on what not to do. Um, first thing not to do if you're going to make planner clips is not buy the ones at Dollar, Dollar Tree. Because, let me find one, they have a plastic cover. I've trimmed all these off, but they have a, a little thin plastic cover over all their um, metal. And when you put it in the oven to the clay, it shrinks. And then you end, have these little metal pieces sticking out the ends, and I've had to trim those off. So be sure you get jumbo clips and get the ones from uh, snacks, or I may even have gotten these from Walmart, but just make sure that there's no, no plastic covering on them. So that's the first tip I can give you because I learned that one the hard way. So get regular paper clips. Don't get the cheap ones. And you can see the difference in the shininess. This is the one with the plastic on it, and this is the one that's all metal and you can see there's a lot of difference in the shine this one just looks cheap but um, let me show you what I did on a lot of these I'll show you some of the ones I made and then how I made them now this one I got a lot of interest on it's on the it's on copper clay and then I just took gold stickles and rubbed over top of it but I made that with this Martha Stewart uh, mold. I don't even know the name of it. It was in a set, a set of three. But there were three um, flowers here. And since I this is one of those jumbo clips, I only had one or two. So I needed something big. So I used that. And what I did is I molded it. I put my paper clip on it and then put another layer. I used a circle cutter. Let's see what size I may have used. Probably this size. I would have cut a piece of clay and put on the back. And then make sure when you put your polymer clay on here that the clip part is facing down. The first one I did, I put on this end. And then when I took it out, I went to put it on my thing and it wouldn't go because the clip part was at the top. So make sure that the, the two loops, the clip loop, is at the bottom of your paper clip. Don't do it this way. It won't work. So I have molded paper clips. And I've used this mold. Here are some flower molds. You can put flower, you know, put flowers. Just make sure you, you on your flower molds, I think I would do two. This one was too thick. It would have made a really thick um, top, but uh, if you use a mold like this, do two and put one on the front and one on the back. And that way you'll have a nice back to your clip also. Um, here's some butterflies. I do believe, I think I sold my butterflies though. I had some butterflies that I made with this Martha Stewart mold. And I hope I'm in frame. I I'm not, I'm not able to see my camera since I'm using my phone. But anyway, same thing. I used, I molded two of these and put them back to back. Put, laid one face down, laid the clip on it, laid the other one on top, and then just sealed it. So that's that. But um, some of them I used cutters. This one, do you recognize this cane? was my one of my retro canes that I did in the black and white. I think I called it my favorite cane. I, I made I put that down on my work surface and took a heart cutter and just cut hearts out of it and it's two two hearts and I put the paper clip inside. So that's another thing you can do. You can use your cutters. This is a cane. 
This is a cane I made at a Donna Cato workshop probably 16 years ago. And so I sliced it. I sliced two thin slices. Again, sandwich the um, paper clip inside, put them together, and then baked it. And then I covered, I finished it with, um, I believe I used the uh, Sculpey glaze on these. I don't believe, or I might have used Varathane. I don't remember what I used. I usually use Varathane. That's probably what this is. But that's another way you can make them is by slicing your canes. So I've still got three of those. Here's another cane that I had. It was a kaleidoscope cane. Same thing. Just cut your cane into slices and put them put one on either side of your paper clip. And it makes a nice clip. This was my rose cane. This is another old cane. It was one of the first ones I ever did. You can probably tell because of where the leaves are. But I, and you can see the uh, cane changed it. This, these two, I think, were from, this one was from the end or something. Same thing. I sliced the cane, cut two thin slices, and put it inside of the paper clip. And here's some more that I did with some shapes that I did with that, like I did with the heart. There's the heart, and there's two different leaf shapes. Now, if you made this in a fall color, like maybe a copper or something with oranges and reds and browns, it would be the, the leaf ones would be really nice for fall. Here's my basket weave cane. I got three of those. That's all I had was enough to make three. Same process. Three little thin slices, two little thin slices, and then sandwich that in between. These were very popular. Uh, I did sell some of these on Etsy. These are what I did here. You can see the back is I took some scrap clay and marbled it, rolled it flat, and then cut the two slices, and then I molded the little starfish. I have a mold somewhere. Probably You ought to see my box of molds, but I've got a mold somewhere that's a starfish like this. And um, I cut the starfish, put a little... Um, what are they called? Hot fix crystal in the center and baked it. And then I don't think I finished this with anything. I think I put some, um, what did I use? Maybe some Inca gold on the outside. It was something I put on the starfish. But you see, there's two starfish, and those, and I did the same thing. What else did I have? I had the same thing with turtles. I had little turtles that I molded. What I did, and this is another idea you can have, I took little charms, cut the loop off, and then pressed it into clay. All right, I've got several. I think this one fits in there. I baked it, pulled this out, and then I used, I pressed clay into here. You can even see some of the clay that's still stuck in there. I pressed clay into there and put that on top of one of the blue, or you could use a green if you want to, you know, mix, mix the blues and greens to make it look like water. But that's another thing you can do. You can use your, use charms. Here's a bigger turtle if you want to make a bigger one. I've got a couple of those molds. So there's that. There is, this is another 
painting that I made of the flower. You remember the flower? I believe I have a tutorial on the, how to make a flower. And look at all these I have left. But same thing, just sandwich them. There's another basket weave. Here was another cane I had that was a pansy. And I just had a very small piece of it left, so I was able to only make two. But I think those turned out really cute. And this is uh, sort of a quilted type shape, uh, cane that I made. So you can see you can do a lot of things with canes. And if I can find a cane, I meant to do that before I got on my video. Well, i tell you what, why don't I mold one? Just to give you an idea. Um, I've got all kinds of molds. This one has a starfish. It's a different starfish than the other one. It's also got a little... Um, seahorse. There's a little turtle there you could mold. You could use faces. You know, this. these are molds that make faces. Some of them are like totem type molds and some of them are a little bit different faces. Uh, I, I showed you the flowers and the butterfly. Here's an acorn. You could make an acorn. That would be a nice fall um, thing to use. Here's one. You could do this crown. That crown, you could mold two of those and put one of those on either side. So let's do that one. Let me find some clay. And I'm not going to take out any new clay. Well, actually, I might because this looks like it's more of a gold color. So let me, I believe I've got some gold. It's rolled out. This will probably need to go through the pasta machine. I brought my some more things here. These are things that I made to go on tiles, but they would also go on, um, you could glue these together for paper clips. There's fish. This I molded from an actual mold, taken from an actual um, sea urchin. There's one of the little turtles that came from that mold that I showed you a little while ago. Um, there's a fish pointing in the other direction. No, it's going in the same direction. If you don't put the fins on it, you could put, put it in either direction. There's a different type of starfish. So these are just things that I've baked to put on to other things. There's a little seahorse. I like the little seahorse. Some big fish. There's all kinds of things. Seashells. You can see I was in the ocean mood when I made these. There's another little starfish with the crystal in the middle. But, you know, there's all different things you can use to put on the end of a paper clip. I just happened to come across these when I was looking. So these are my, I'm going to put this aside for a minute. These are my canes. Let's see if any of these would make a good paper clip. I don't believe I've got face canes. Oh, I've got this blue basket weave cane. That would probably make a nice paper clip. I've got my little fishies. It's a translucent butterfly. I'm 
thinking that's probably too big and this is probably too little. I needed one right in between. So I don't have a cane that's made. Lay this down. Oh, let me look over here on this stash. See if I have anything smaller. Sorry about that. No, I don't see anything small enough, and I don't want to take the time to um, I don't know what I did with my paper clip. But let me just slice a couple of these. Oh, I've got it taped, because I had this on Etsy for sale. And of course, it didn't sell. And I will slice another slice. Actually, they're in different shapes, so I better cut two. See how thin I slice it? It doesn't need to be very thick. Roll that back up. So now I have two slices. Try to even up the edges a little bit. need them to be the same. It's pretty close to the same. Pick the side you want to be on the front. Make sure your loop is down. Just press it in maybe just halfway. You don't want it to go all the way through because then the other half you can take up on this one. Press it in there. If you feel better, you could put a drop of liquid clay in there. I believe I did do that, but I think this ought to stick pretty well. And then just, if you want to smooth the edges, you can. Some of these, it's not necessary. Like this one, it really isn't necessary. This one... This side could use a little smoothing because they're not exactly flat. But there you go. There, all you gotta do is bake it. So there's one paper clip. It's not a very pretty paper clip. Let me get another one. So let's mold one. I don't think I'm gonna use that crown. I think I'm gonna go back to the butterfly. And use some of this that I've still got on my table. This is from the malachite cane. Let's see if I can do this. I've never tried this before, but I want to put this one. In that side, and see how I'm going to do this. It's going to go the wrong way. We'll see what it looks like. Press it into your mold. And if you feel indentations like I do there, just pull a piece and put it in that little hole because you want it to be solid. And this may not end up being a paper clip depending on how the design looks. And just shave it off.
make sure it's all shaved off and you can press it out and there's a butterfly and you would do the same thing you could just take some other colored clay or if you didn't want to do that you could just take some solid clay I wonder if I have any of that blue that's solid Let me do the solid clay. Press it in. Make sure you put enough in to fill the well of the of the mold. Probably should have conditioned this a little bit. See, I didn't get this in filled in very well. One thing about a mold, you can go back and fix fix things. You're not stuck with what you originally do. Now this has little antenna. I really don't want antenna. I'll probably shave those off on the paper clip because those are more than likely going to break. So if you're making these as a gift or to sell, you certainly don't want them breaking. So just take your blade or a craft knife and shave off those little antennas. You would do the same thing. Make sure the double side is down. Use a piece of patty paper so it doesn't stick to this tile. Just press your paper clip in there. Let me show you if you're going to use liquid clay. I always use Kato, but you could use Bacon Bond. You just put a little dab there so that it will hold the paper clip. Put that on the top and again just check your edges. And you can reshape these if you want before you know you can do anything you want before you cook it, bake it rather. But I don't want to mess too much with the top because it does have dimension to it. So there would be another paper clip. Looks like I'm on a roll with blue, aren't I? But you can do the same thing with the flowers, with the, uh, I love this flower mold. Probably for this size paper clip, the smaller one would work. And I probably ought to use, let's see what I've got softened up here. How about some pink? What I would do with these, I would use the middle size one for this size paper clip. If you're using a regular small paper clip, you could even use that one. But I would roll this into a ball. Make sure you get all the seams out of it. Press it into the mold. And then slice off the extra. Make sure you got it all even. And poke it out. And then you can take the same ball. Just Fold in the pieces around the edges to fill in the mold again. And 
again, slice it to make it flat on the back. Okay, and then place your paper clip where you want it. Don't press too hard. You don't want to flatten out the pattern too much. It's going to flatten some. Can't help it. But you don't want it to flatten any more than you have to. And I'm going to put a little bit of clay, liquid clay on this. And try to line up these little petals so that it looks like it's there for a purpose. On this one, I think I would put a little rhinestone. So I'll get them in this, and I'll put them in this little tin. You see all my little rhinestones? These are all hot fix rhinestones. And I have a little wax chipped thing that I use. And that being pink, what color should I use? I don't know how orange would look on that. I don't think I like the orange. How about a... I'll just put clear. Just put it in the center. I'm trying to have it in my hand so that I don't mess up the pattern on the back. And press. And I'll get another one for the other side. And press. And now you've got a pretty little flower with the, looks like a diamond in the middle. Now what I would do with these I've got to remember that I put these in a tin. I really panicked there a minute ago. What I would do, make sure that they're flat and not bent. And then you could even take some um, pan pastels. In fact, I've got some pan pastels right here. And these are the pearlized ones. Maybe I have some pink. I do. These are my polymer, the ones I use for polymer clay. And I'm going to take the pink, just rub my finger over it, and just add some accent to it. Adds a little bit of shine. I need my hands. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to show you how I'm touching the pan pastels. But just, you could use a brush. I prefer my finger. And even though this is a, a different shade of pink, see the difference in that one? And this one that's got some of this other pink on it? I like the one with the pan pastel on it better. There you go. So there's three that are done differently. You, you can, you know, the options are just endless. There's so much you can do with, you know, you've got, I've got brought some little owls out. You can take little charms and make a ball of clay and then press like one of these owls into that ball of clay. And let that be, you know, the cover for 
excuse me, for your paper clip. So I hope this was beneficial to you. It was kind of thrown together at the last minute because I'm, I'm having a Fun Stampers Journey Facebook party right now, and my time is totally absorbed in that. But I have found that if I do something on Facebook and then move it over to YouTube, it's so much faster. So I decided to do a Facebook Live for you people. And even though there's very few that watch, I will still have an easier time to get this onto, the, um, onto my YouTube, cha YouTube channel. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I will be back soon with another Polymer Clay video. Bye-bye.